नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट इन वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा Week three of the war, it keeps getting worse. Israel has struck multiple targets in Gaza in what's being called the deadliest round of bombing so far. In all, more than 5,000 people have been killed in Gaza, more than 15,000 injured. Aid has started trickling through the Rafah border, but it's far from adequate. India too has sent six tons of aid to Palestinians. Israel's Western allies have asked it to adhere to international law and protect civilians. Meanwhile, China has deployed six warships in the region. We'll tell you what they're up to. And Al Qaeda and ISIS have called on their supporters to attack Israelis and Americans everywhere. Like I said, it keeps getting worse, whichever way you look at it. In Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif is back. We'll bring you the speeches, the drama, and the latest developments. In the South China Sea, two ships have collided: one from China, the other from the Philippines. Needless to say, tensions are high. In India, ten deaths in 24 hours due to heart attacks at Garba events. India's foreign minister has lashed out at Canada. and women in iceland including their prime minister are striking work tomorrow we'll tell you why the headlines first sweden moves a step closer to joining nato the turkish president recep tayyip erdogan has submitted stockholm's bid to the country's parliament for one year ankara had blocked sweden's move citing security concerns it withdrew its objections only in july China is probing iPhone maker Foxconn. It comes weeks after its founder Terry Go announced his bid for Taiwan's presidency. Go has said that he won't be pressured by Beijing. The Taiwanese firm is China's largest private sector employer and one of Apple's biggest suppliers. Will France sell Rafale fighter jets to Saudi Arabia? Paris says talks are underway. Riyadh reportedly wants a cost estimate of 54 Rafales by November. France is the world's third biggest arms exporter after the US and Russia. The Iranian teenager who was allegedly assaulted by the morality police is brain dead. This incident took place earlier this month on the Tehran metro. The 60 16-year-old had slipped into coma after a reported face-off over the hijab law. The case is similar to that of Masha Amini who died in the custody of the same morality police in September last year. The Kenyan shilling sinks to a record low of 150 against the dollar in the last year the currency has plunged by almost 24%. The shilling has been in decline for several years now. Kenya has a debt of over 67 billion dollars. Denmark's deputy prime minister resigns saying he is leaving politics. It comes just weeks after months after He returned from a 6 month leave due to stress. He is also stepping down as the leader of his party which is part of Denmark's ruling coalition. And Saudi Arabia launches the e-sports World Cup. The competition will be held annually in Riyadh starting next summer. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has invested heavily in the sector. He is said to be an avid gamer himself, partial to Call of Duty. <laughs> 